unboxing one of my birthday gifts. This one is from Diego. He got me a stand mixer. Actually, matagal ko na siyang kinukulit na bilhan niya ako ng stand mixer. Sinesend ko sa kanya yung mga links ng KitchenAid, tsaka Kenwood. Tapos na-realize ko, ang mahal pala niya. So let's start with our unboxing and product review of the Hanabishi Professional Stand Mixer. Let's go. Instruction manual. Pala ko si Ate Chepo to. So, ano kaya? May ano? Put it in the bowl. Sa idin natin kasi sayang. 
Tapos, the shoulder. Then, vanilla extract, one tablespoon. And then, mix it. Mix at low speed. So, pag medyo nag-mix na siya, you can add the egg one at a time. So at this point, while mixing the wet ingredients, make sure na very well mixed siya together. Kasi once you incorporate the dry ingredients, dun na lalabas yung overmixing. Kasi pag na-overmix mo, papangit yung batter. So mix well habang wet ingredients pa lang yung mini-mix. So habang nag-mix siya, kukombine ko na yung flour and cocoa powder ko. I-wix ko siya together. And then the salt. Pag very well mixed na yung wet ingredients, Pwede na, na natin pagsamahin na wet and dry ingredients. May make sure mo kung yung eggs na incorporate na. Kasi ayaw mo na lutong eggs sa brownies. <laughs> Mamaya pagbukas mo, may omelette sa loob. Okay. Okay na no. Let's put in our dry ingredients. Let's put it Dati, ginawa ko na tong recipe na to using a hand mixer. So, yung advantage nito compared sa ginamit ko before na hand mixer is hindi ka napagod. Like, hindi mo na siya hawak-hawak. Tsaka nakokontrol mo yung speed level. So, hindi kasan mo na yung overmixing. So, ipofold na natin yung chocolate chips natin. maa-avoid natin yung sinasabi kong over-mixing. 
Kasi minsan magta masyado tayong na-excite, di ba? So now, while we're preparing the pan, I'm gonna be preheating the oven to 180. Wait, Tapos, i-butter din natin siya kasi paminsan dumidikit yung parchment paper pag naluto na siya. So, i-butter natin siya para bongga. Okay! Ready? Get set. Go! accurate talaga kung kumari ilagay mo sa 180, hindi siya talaga 180. So, better talaga may thermometer ka pa rin sa loob para mas accurate yung reading ng heat. Pwede na natin siyang ipasok um, mga 35 to 40 minutes. A few moments later. So, luto na yung brownies natin. Naka 35 minutes. pinakamahirap na part ng pagbe-bake ng brownies. Kailangan talaga itayin nyo siyang mag-cool down bago nyo siya tanggalin at i-cut. So, now begins the waiting game. So, you have to wait 15 to 30 minutes para totally mag-cool down siya. Pag kinat nyo na ngayon, sobrang wet pa siya. As to, pag nainitin nyo mag-cool down, mas solid na siya. So, yun. Wait na lang tayo. One eternity later. Yeah, no cool down na siya, so we can proceed to cutting.